Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California with my beautiful wife, Gail. Somewhere back. Oh, I heard you. Somewhere back there, she's shouting. We love you, my hood. God is good. God is good. Minister Paul, watchman on the wall, Northern California. It's 5 4 21, the day before Cinco de Mayo. Is that also known as Day of the Dead? Or do I have my days wrong? That's something someone could confirm in the. Because, you know, the mainstream media and all that, and television programs and outlets, they'll, they'll report, you know, that it's some kind of celebration that's other than really what the actual true original celebration of it was so I, i'm so i have to sh i have to go forward a little bit to go back to show you this revelation so on my on my on my main channel this one you'll be listening to on here i was having a conversation with sister, sister, uh, this sister Piston said, right here. I was having a conversation with sister, uh, Kelly Leba right here. And she was going to upload a video yesterday. And she had a tornado. She, she, she lives, I, I don't want to propose to speak for her, but she is a member of our, our ministry it has her own ministry uh she she lived here in northern california in the bay area uh, similar to the area where i grew up and so she lived close by here she recently moved to arkansas and so last night she we were having this conversation where about uh see 24 hours ago almost she said i just did a video on the on the night of shooting, the Lord had given me a word on this before it happened, and that was the video they took down from this site and kicked me off for a week. Amos 3, now the Holy Spirit just gave me the connection to the divination and Buddhism. But well, watch this, man. This is incredible. Hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to this channel. It just takes one click. And then hit the notification button and let this, let's get this revelation that God is sharing out into the YouTube algorithms, whether they like the truth or not. Could you help me at that? You could like, you could comment, uh, your thoughts and prayers in the comment box. No personal attacks is the only thing, uh, we won't allow. And, uh, and, and help us share this video. This is just to glorify God, man. Glorify Jesus. So, so this, she's talking about divination, and, 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 and then, uh, and then I was talking about how there's a blood moon on May 26th. And so that was yesterday. And so I'm, she said she just did a video, so I'm waiting for a video to pop up on her channel. And so then we go through here and we go through our conversation recorded yesterday. Uh, and then, so she was talking about how she was just, they removed a video of hers and silenced her for seven days. And we all know why or what topic it was about. We're not allowed to talk about it on YouTube, this topic, cause boom, they'll just strike you. And I said, so 18 hours ago, I said, still not seeing the video, sister. Wow. And then she said, it's taking forever to upload. That was 18 hours ago, right? And then one hour ago, uh, she said, I said, I, cause I asked, you know, is there an update to the video? She said, what hour ago? We had a tornado hit last night. So everything went down and now we have no power. It is up this morning. So she was saying the video was delayed by a tornado. And I don't know if this is a first for her or what, but I mean, I've never been at a tornado, and I, I, it would seem to me like it would be frightening. 
But, you know, we have the power and authority to go out and rebuke the tornadoes. So praise God for the women of God and the, the praying intercessors in the backgrounds in our in our ministries and out here on uh, social media, just praying and standing in the gap. Hallelujah. Because when two or more are gathered together, he is in the midst of us. No matter where we happen to find ourselves standing. So the video goes up and then this is the video right here. And she's quoting uh, the Bible, Amos 3. And so I'm reviewing this now uh, for the first time. And it's, it, it's this time right here. And date I'll put up on the screen the next day. And so I'm at the exact 36 minute mark. And uh, she doesn't know this yet, but she's talking about Fort Campbell, Kentucky, and these areas. So the video is about her receiving a warning for an area, and then there was a mass shooting there in the area she warned about. And then YouTube took down the video and silenced her from her channel for seven days. Sound familiar? I just went through the same thing. And if I get another one, it's two weeks within a 90 day period so i would just not allowed to talk about it on youtube check out my patreon you're not allowed to talk about it on facebook either because there's going to be a lot more information coming out where i stand on the motb where i stand on that that's all i'm going to say more information is coming out we'll have our website up hopefully by this weekend too or maybe even sooner so she begins to talk about a spirit of divination and kundalini. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, unplug these headphones. Hopefully there's no feedback. If there is, I have a mute button now, so praise God for mute buttons. Let me see. So I right now I've paused. I haven't listened any further than this thirty six minute mark. But I'm going to explain something that only God can do here in a second. She's showing how these amazing things, how God is showing her on Google Earth certain areas and certain symbols and how it speaks to her personally. God is communicating to her this warning. And what she's saying is one of them went true and they struck my channel down for seven days. And so now I'm warning Kentucky and, and Sioux City, Iowa, and it looks like this uh, Kentucky. And so here's what she says. That, that is, is what that, that represents. represents the Kundalini spirit. spirit. Okay. okay. And, and did it. Did you hear that? Okay. That's, That's what, what got me kicked, kicked off. off. Do, Do some, some research, research on this. this. Okay. okay. The, the Kundalini, Kundalini spirit and divination. divination. Okay. okay. That. that. So watch how God works. So I'm 36 minutes into this thing today. The following day after a tornado, it's 14, it's 14, 37 hours on the East Coast, 11, 37 hours uh, on the West Coast. Interesting. That's the, that's the number and sign I get to warn. The Lord told me to tell them, take shelter, take shelter. And so we're going to discuss that. So she says, she calls out Kundalini and divination. But this whole entire time, over a half hour, she keeps showing Bethel. Bethel. Not Bethel in Israel, but a Bethel in one of these warning areas. And she's like, Bethel, Bethel. And you know, as God is my witness right now, every time she said Bethel, I was reminded of this church just two hours north of me right here in California called Bethel. And they have this thing called SSM, Supernatural School of Ministry. And it's uh, it's called Bethel Church up in, I believe it's Redding, California. So uh, uh, probably get there in two hours from here, maybe an hour and a half drive. I mean, it's close, in other words. And there's and there's Supernatural School of Ministry. When, when I was first coming into ministry out here in like 2000, seven and stuff like that there was a my nephew had this girlfriend that was going to this ministry and there was rumors coming out that 
they they tried to gather young college age students and they would crawl around in there on the floor like serpents with the woman had thongs on and there was a lot of lustful temptation but they if you want to if you want to be sent out from bethel and i don't propose to speak for them nor judge them i'm just i'm just letting the holy spirit speak through me as i share this morning message and they happen to come up i will not judge them i will let jesus christ judge them the 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 accusation against bethel and its leaders for years and years and years now have been that they're involved in the kundalini spirit and in divination and and posing it as the holy spirit writhing on the floor and flopping around and and uh, other things like that uh you know if, if that's your thing do it you know if the holy spirit has you do something do it but it's not always the holy spirit it's kundalini and so the revelation i got was i just confirmed so I, now i'm going to listen to the rest of what's left and another thing right here at 37 you know what that reminds me of right there that eagle and then it has symbols on it it's like a club a spade uh, it reminds me of the boy scout logo so when we get to that i'll discuss further but Bethel so here's here's the ministry right here so I'm corrected here by the internet it's it's not it's B it's not just SSM it's B S S M a Bethel school of supernatural ministry and so it's actually an area and a church here and it is in Redding California And again, no mean intent meant to this at all. I'm just following up as a watchman on the warning that was confirmed by another sister who just had a, a spoken prophecy foretelling come true. So this is the direction it takes. It says revival is now. A lot of young people. This is the this is the church that what's that group came out of? Kim, uh, Kim Walker, yeah, Kim Walker something, Kim Walker Smith, is that what it was, and Jesus Culture, this is, this is where Jesus Culture came out of their church, if, if I believe so, so, but if you come up here, now watch this, so this is just, this is specifically just their supernatural school of ministry, I don't know if it's free or anything about it. Here's the calendar. Talks about tuition costs. You know what? I think it might cost money. Well, that's a red flag right there. If you have to pay for it. I can't confirm that. But let's go... Let's go do something else because I'm trying to, to specifically dial in the warning and look at the about book three, seven. And the reason why, the reason why is because I had put on my community wall 39 minutes ago. I think I'm going to refresh it because I think it's been a few more minutes, 55 minutes ago. I just heard in the spiritual realm, take shelter. And I dated it and timed it. And you know when I heard this take shelter? When I was listening to this sister's warning video right here. Approach you the 37 minute mark I just noticed. And the warning was for this. So if we put in. It's. it's Bethel. B-S-S-M. And let's put. Uh, Kundalini and see if it triggers anybody else talking about it other than me kundalini cryas 
in Bethel Church. The NAR movement. What's the NAR movement? Is it Breaky Up 37 stuff? Look, this is weird. This is. It's continuing. I just got to flow with the Holy Spirit. Look, this is my birthday right here. I find that super creepy, man. And then it looks, it talks about a 37 year old. Bethel leadership from head apostle Bill Johnson and anointed prophet Chris. Prophet Chris something. The 37 year old BSSM student has returned to Reno from a spiritual quest. The raw Chinese used Kundalini techniques to hold on. This is a former student speaking out. But the 37, I didn't put 37 in where in here in the search. And look at the date 12 12, man. What's going on here? Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us. And then 73 shares. Or, so it's 12 12. A formal Bethel student speaks out. So is this a warning to the church? One, three, three. I know someone that said they see that all the time or something. It's a seven if you add it all up. 420. Interesting stuff. So this guy was a wide-eyed 20-year-old when he traveled from Reno to Reading to attend his first service at Bethel in 2002. The two girls breathing on the floor. See, this it's not just me that are what I heard. If this is what comes up on a search. The two girls writhing on the floor, speaking in tongues during the ceremony did not dissuade. I, I'm, I'm going to save you. I'm, I'm going to put a link to this. Here's the, the 37-year-old former. Formal Bethelites, so they're called Bethelites. Is this a warning to like Israel? Is this a bigger warning than we're seeing with natural eyes and that the spiritual eyes is take shelter, take shelter Israel? In other words, take shelter, uh, bride, the, it, it, it let, did let those uh, Judea flee to the hills. Is this a warning for the church? I'm seriously interested. So she gets this word. I get this church. And then I hear take shelter. And now this is just all confirming. Look, it says $2,250 per semester. This guy was a Yugoslavian civil war. I don't want to bore you with this article and run it long. I'm going to put a link to it. But let me show you something. There was a time. There was a time when I took several months off. And the very first warning I came back with was to warn of that Kundalini spirit. YouTube uh, is not going to allow me to find it. Yoga. I guess not. I'll tell you what, it's on here though. I know it's in here. I'll put that in the description box too. It was a warning on the Kundalini spirit. Well, this is my part of the puzzle piece, and I present this to the church to be spiritually judged on if it lines up with the Word of God and. I'll put a link to Sister Kelly's warning video I haven't finished watching yet. And I'll find the video about the warning of the Kundalini spirit. And then I just present to the church, is this a warning? Is this a tribulation type warning in spiritual Israel and the country Israel? Before they're cast into a bed of tribulation? Or is there something I'm missing? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button. We love you and we appreciate you. Look for our next message soon.